This is Mary at the Mary Atelier, and it is Sunday evening. Time to do some art. Woohoo! Let me get out to my channel and welcome people in. Welcome to my desk. Welcome to my desk. Adjust, adjust things. Okay, let's see if I can adjust this a bit more. I'm zoomed in just a bit, but I'm going to leave it zoomed in for a minute. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my desk. Let me get out here to my chat. Hi, Nina. Welcome, Nina. Hi, Sherry. Welcome, welcome. Well, my desk has not changed much since Saturday morning. Penelope's here. Penelope has a, a shadow from her dress going on here. Okay, Penelope. <laughs> she says, put me in a safe spot, Mary. I don't want to fall. I have been painting these Matryoshka dolls. I'm going to do a M Penelope Matryoshka doll. I have to design it. And I think I'm going to have to sand this down a little. I can close it just about, but see how it squeaks? So I'm going to get it. I'm going to sand this down, maybe in here too. And this was black marker, and I painted over it, but that black marker just came right through. Here are the others. These were gifted to me by, this Matryoshka doll was gifted to me by Suze. And I'm just now getting to the point where I can paint them. Where I, I feel like I need to paint them. Yeah. So let's take this one out. Because we're going to work on this one tonight. It's got a bit of a chip there, but I don't mind that. That's okay. So we're going to set that over there. We're going to... Put some more paint on this. But we'll come back to that. And I have to laugh at my dandelion stamp. Hi, Rhonda, Sherry, Nina. Welcome, lady. Ladies. Hi, Elise. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my world. I have to laugh at this stamp. Because this dandelion here, even though it has a lot of ink, it's not printing off very well. And I was a little bit disappointed in it until I was answering the comments. And I realized all of a sudden that this stamp, that dandelion, somebody's making a wish and blowing on it. So I'm going to call this my Make-A-Wish dandelion. I got a little bit too much carved out of there. I'm going to redesign this. I want it to look more like this. And I probably will not try to do that double line in there. I think by taking that line out, I can get more of this in there. So that's on my to-do list. But I have to laugh because I'm going to call this my make-a-wish stamp. Yeah, make-a-wish. Blow your dandelion. But we'll come back to that too. I'm going to keep my carving tools out. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody who's out there in, in Lurkdom. <clears throat> I've had to pit, patch up my, my cover of my poor journal here. It is slowly getting filled. We'll keep working at it. <clears throat> I have... Bash, bash your stash, blast, bash your staff. Becky calls this bits and bops. I've been doing a lot of cleaning, a lot of cleaning and organizing. I'm not there yet, but I'm going to work on it some more this week. I ordered some kit boxes, so I'm really anxious to get those in. So... But we'll talk about that another time. Let's see what's in here and see what I can make. Hi, Angie. 
Welcome, Angie. So I'm going to call this kit one, and I'm going to make something out of it. I've got Tuscan red paint. I've got a sack of tea bags, so we'll work on those. I've got some double-sided tape that I put in there and a package of it, so I'd have plenty. So that's an adhesive. I think I got this little pillow box from in Happy Mail. I want to say I got it from Becky, but I'm not sure this one was from Becky. Becky. A little, they're called pill bo pillow boxes because they puff up like, like so. Maybe that other one goes in first. Hold it. Like that. And I really don't have a good use for those other than making a pocket in a journal. So there's that. I have a stamp that says for you. I have a piece of black paper that's textured on one side. I could bring that out with some paste. So let's put the blacks together, the stamps. Let's see what I can do out of what's in here. I have some spare parts. Looks either like yarn balls or soccer balls. It says sports bread, so they're probably soccer or basketball or something. Unless you want to call yarn a sport. I've got some papers here, so yeah, we're thinking journal, aren't we? So we'll put that here someplace. Let's put these black ones together. Uh, maybe like this somehow. I'm going to, to use up my stash. I got some tickets, a napkin, a beautiful angel napkin, some ephemera. Yeah. Do you see an art journal coming together tonight? BBOIS kit one. I'm going to put that in there because I may not get these all used tonight. We got more napkins here, cards, postage, bunny rabbits. I think I got those at Walmart last year. That would go good in my spring art journal. I'm going to put this in my spring art journal kit. I think it's a, oh, it's got recipe on it. Brie and broccoli quiche. How many rabbits do I get? I only get a set of, I get two, two sets. I get four rabbits, but we're still put it in. They might make a good background in my spring art journal here. My spring art journal is getting full. <laughs> And I have no idea what Becky's planning for next week. I'm trying to follow her techniques. All right, we got napkins. I could actually go in the spring. All of these could go in the spring, but there's napkins. I've got some Rolodex cards. I don't know what I'll get out of this, but we're going to see. This is just a heat and bond. Hmm. Heat and Bond. I got some Tim Holtz Ephemera. This is priced at Hobby Lobby at $7, but you know I don't pay full price. I wait till it goes on 48%. I put some washi tape in there. Some stamps. I think uh, Rhonda, did you gift these to me? Several, and I got some numbers here. Rhonda gifted me some stamps. I know she gifted me some uh, postage stamps. I think those might have come from Rhonda. And then to bring it up, I've got an inkwell. That's cool. I might put this in my either my history or my library art journal. And I've got flashcards. So that's my kit one. So I don't know if I'll use it all, but let's start out by 
emptying these tea bags. And I know you guys are going to say, save the, save the tea for the garden, so I will. And there's already a lot of tea in there. I don't know. Let's see if I can do this. It needs a... Yeah, we'll put it just like that, maybe. So I'm just going to sit here and maybe chat with you a little. Find out what you guys are doing this weekend. The weekend's about over. The weekend's about over. Uh-oh. That means a new week tomorrow. <laughs> Janet Nash is on tomorrow. Um, it was a little cool here today, so we didn't get out in the garden, but I got out yesterday, and I actually did quite a bit. I planted my canna bulbs, which I saved from my flowering bulb bulbs. Let me throw this away. From last last year, my canna bulbs came up really nice. And... I was able to, let's see, uh, do I want to save the string on here? I'm actually going to open it up, so I think I'm going to save my little strings over here. So, and my, you know, I told you guys Thursday I was in Ann Lars crafting chat, and my brother went out and tilled the garden while I was chatting. <laughs> I think Though, I told him I wanted him to teach me how to till. And I think I found out how to get stuff done from him. And that is, ask him to teach me. And then he'll wait for a good time when I'm preoccupied and he'll go do it himself. <laughs> so I'm going to see if that technique will work on other things. Teach me how to do that. The other thing I really need to have him teach me how to do... And he keeps saying that it's hard to hook up, but we have a dishwasher that hooks up to our kitchen faucet. And he always, you know, I do all the pots and pans and stuff like that. I, I like to do those by hand. And, you know, there's some things I'll just do by hands, but we put all the plates and silverware. And I keep feeling something sharp over here that in the dishwasher and then when it gets full he'll take and do it and i i keep saying i need to learn how to do that in case i have to do it myself sometime and uh, of course he always does it he never has to you know he always just knows so i guess that's kind of out because he, he he's pretty good about doing that i don't have to i don't have to nag <laughs> let's see how am i going to do these strings let's just clip here and here and here but anyway I went out there I took a big nap yesterday after I watched Carol yeah Carol was showing all these beautiful books that I'll tell you they're on they're on my they're on my list <laughs> but Oh, they're so tempting. It is so tempting. Um, Stitchery, Tell a Story, and Daydream Journal. And it's all by hand hand stitching. And she was showing all that in her stream yesterday. And I watched, I watched, I got up early and did the Fourth Art Saturday. Then I got, then I watched all the videos and weren't wasn't that a great hop didn't everybody do a great job angie says i went yesterday and picked up my nephew and great nephews at the airport and the way i'm understanding angie is that was quite a drive for you i think you said it was what about an hour an hour and a half to go get them and knowing you you probably came home and took a nap well, that's what I did after Carol's stream. I took a nap 
after Carol's stream, and I didn't wake up till about, oh, it might have been 1.30 before I woke up in the afternoon. And uh, I wanted to get out in the yard. It was a little windy, but I knew I could do some, some things. I hold my bulbs out in the back are coming up real nice. The peonies are coming up. I'm a little worried that the wind is not going to die down, and I'm worried that the peonies are going to bloom. And I'm worried that the wind is going to blow them to pieces. So we'll leave that up to Mother Nature. She, she is who she is. And But um, we dug out. We took our wagon wheel and put it on the west side of our new garage out there. And my brother tilled that area. Uh, not the peonies, but around... Where, and we pulled out uh, weeds, and I'm going to try to keep those weeds down this year. But I planted bulbs, and I wasn't sure that they were, I planted them last fall, and I wasn't sure that they were going to come up. But they are coming up very nice. They're getting some little buds on them. And so I went out yesterday, and I hoed the weeds around them. And uh, I'm going to try to keep those weeds down. And then I decided to dig holes for my canna bulbs. And I had stored the canna bulbs down in the basement. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to go down there. And there's a little, we have a little plastic shelf. That, oops, what fell? My, oh, my tape. Let me pick it up. Mm. Um, and it's easy to move. It just has a couple of plants that I brought in yesterday. I mean, last fall that I didn't want uh, my mother and hens and and uh, a poinsettia plant is on that little shelf. But it sets over the door that opens to the basement on the floor. And so I had moved all of that. I dug all the holes where I'm going to plant the canna bulbs. And I dug 18 holes. <laughs> And uh, got those all ready to go. And then I said, oh, I'm going to have to go down in the basement and get those can of bulbs. And so I moved the door and everything, had it almost ready to go down there. And my brother was out on the front porch and he came in. He said, what are you doing? And I said, well, would you go down and get those can of bulbs for me? And he said, they're already up here. <laughs> he saw what I was doing and he went down and got them and I didn't know. And I go, oh, thank you, thank you. So I cleaned off those canna bulbs because they still, when I dug them, they were, the dirt was kind of wet and everything. And, of course, the dirt all dried off. And I sat out there on that little bench out there by the garden and cleaned all the, bulb, all the dirt off of the bulbs and threw them in the 18 holes. And then I had to get out the garden hose out of the garage. And, of course, he had five of them in there and I didn't know which ones he used and I so I brought out all five and he came out and said you only need these two <laughs> so he got me straightened out there and he hooked up the water for me yay and I got my can of bulbs planted and then he said I think you got more bulbs than you have holes <laughs> I said yeah I know I had ten I had ten and ten extra can of bulbs and he said, well, we can plant them. He said, I'll tell you a spot out by the West Garden. So he did. And I don't know if they're going to thrive out there because that soil is really kind of, it's not the best soil. He thinks they'll make it, but we'll see. I think cannabobs may need a little bit better soil. But if they don't, it's just behind the garage, so. My dishwater shirt is broken. Oh, no, Elise. Oh, no. I guess you're going to have to use your hands, huh? I do all the pots and pans by hand. And I really wouldn't mind because, you know, there's just, you, you know, there's just my brother and me. If I had to, don't, don't tell anybody. But if I had to wash a few extra plates and silverwares, I probably would do it. But, ew, I don't like a sink full of dishes. I try to, 
Sometimes I let the pots and pans soak overnight. Because uh, when he cooks, he he doesn't wash the pots and pans. That's my job. <laughs> and so sometimes they're... They need soaking. You know, sometimes he burns stuff on the bottom. or I clean out all the grease and yucky stuff out of the bottom. And then I let them soak overnight. And they're a lot easier to clean the next day. Angie says, Mary, I learned not to do anything because my so-called brother doesn't like how it is done, and he redoes it. <laughs> I know. We all have our ways. I What did I do? I did something. It was last fall. I dug the spot. I dug the spot for the can of bulbs. And then he came and retilled my spot. So I just let him, re I let him till it this summer, this, this time. <laughs> and I appreciated it. Although I think sometime he's going to have to teach me how to till. Elise says, I've been washing my hands for a few, by hand, for a few weeks now. Yep. That's just a lot of extra work, but Angie says, yes, about your, about a hour, an hour and a half. No, I went to. The Mexican restaurant and ate. Oh, afterwards? Yeah, I knew you had a long drive. I remember that. So today, I did wake up early. And, uh, you know, I like to... Sunday mornings are kind of my me time, my spiritual time. Um... So I get all that. I spend time there. And then I go online. Catch up on, on things that I like to catch up on. And by, by 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I was tired again. And I took another nap. I took another nap. It wasn't hard. I just fell asleep. So welcome to everybody who's in here. Mina's here. I hope I'm not boring you. I'm emptying tea bags. Um, looks like I've got tea bags and napkins and stamp and spare parts. I wonder if I could collage some napkin and tea bags with glue on these and make kind of cool brads, maybe. Mina says she's never bored. Angie says, I have slept all day today. <laughs> well, I did take a big nap. You know, um, Sundays are good, and it was cool out, and I didn't, it's going to be nicer tomorrow. We need to get our onions planted, and I want to plant my beets. And I have trouble with the beets when I plant them. I, I can't identify them when they're coming up. I don't know if it's a beet or a weed. So I think what I'm going to do is plant them in maybe some paper cups. I don't know if we have any paper ones. We've got the... Pla yeah, I think I do have some paper ones. And then poke holes in the... Not in the bottom. Maybe cut the bottom out because it's a beet. You know, and you, you need to leave room for the beet to grow. But if I, if I cut the bottom out, put the paper plate or the paper cup in the ground so I know where the seeds are, I know generally where the beets are. <laughs> And anything that's not in that paper cup is going to get pulled. I had that problem last year. I didn't know where the, I didn't know where the beets were. Well, I've got a problem here. Shaky, shaky, shake. 
Now if I cut it down toward the base, cut that and put it over here. And of course, Dee Dee, oh my goodness, that lady's garden. Of course, those folks who live down south get summer and spring a lot earlier than we do. And I was checking my garden journal and I kept calling her Edith Holden. It's Evelyn Holden, I think. Is is it Evelyn Holden or Edith Holden that wrote the country of an Edwardian country diary of an Edwardian late Ed Edwardian? Edward, Edward Eating Lady. <laughs> Edwardian Lady. The Country Diary. I bought that from Lori, Paint Girly, in one of Keisha's auctions. And uh, I'm, I'm using it as a garden journal. And it's so nice because I can go back and see. I actually planted my, my uh, cannabulbs. A couple days later last year than I did this year so I guess I'm not too far behind but we have a much later spring up here in Nebraska even in southern Nebraska than Dee Dee does down in Georgia because <laughs> she's already got a beautiful garden going and I'm going we haven't even planted anything yet we need to get our onions in and the beets I'm going to work on that and uh then not tomorrow i think tuesday i want to go get plants and i got my youtube payment so i said my youtube payment's gonna go for buying plants all right let's this won't take long here to do these hi cheryl oh cheryl my heart goes out to you i know you're in a lot of pain my lady she She's fighting shingles. Cheryl, 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 our heart just goes out to you. I I just, uh, Nan, I hope that pain goes away for you. Mina says, one year my sister helpfully weeded my garden. Turns out she pulled the herbs coming out and left the weeds. <laughs> We did that with butterfly plant one year. And and I I I thought to myself, well they're planted they grow they're they're not growing. They're growing in a nice pattern and I couldn't identify what they were. I didn't remember planting Tammy. Oh my goodness, Tammy. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. Thank you so much. I'm going to buy a special plant with that, Tammy. I won't get them. I'll, I'm going this week to get plants. I'm going to buy a special plant, and I'm going to name it Tammy. Becky sent me a hydrangea plant, and I call it Becky. I'm going to get me a special plant. I'll have to, I'll go to, I'll, I'll make it a good one, and I'm going to name that plant Tammy. It's not going to be veggies. It's going to be a flower. <laughs> and, and uh, we'll see what they have. Another thing I want to do is read my advice on planting your beets. Let's see. Did you say, Mina? Where is that advice on planting beets? Where is that on Facebook or... Where do I read it at, Tammy? I, I do want to read that. <laughs> Mina says, right above Mina. Right above Mina? I don't see it, Tammy. I see Elise, Angie, 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 Mina, Cheryl, Mina, Angie, Cheryl, Cheryl, Mina, Angie, Mina, Cheryl, Cheryl. And then I see your super chat that I thank you for. I see Cheryl, 
Tammy, and then read my advice. I don't see your advice, Tammy. It didn't come through. Well, and I'm on my live chat. I did scroll up. It's not there. Yeah, nobody's seen it, Tammy. <laughs> I can't take advice if I don't see it. That's my that's my story. Tammy, thank you so much. That that is so kind of you to do that. And I am sitting on the edge of my chair waiting to get Keisha's package. It'll probably come next week. Tammy says, so cut a plastic cup bot bottoms off and plant the beets. The paper cups will dissolve when you water. Well, I thought they would dissolve. I kind of wanted them to dissolve, but what you're saying is they'll dissolve and the weeds will come. So we got the, I think we've got, I'm pretty sure we got some, but they're smaller. I got them at the Dollar Tree. I need a decent sized cup. I need a, a decent sized cup. I don't know if we've got any larger, and I'm talking about, you know, the, the ones that I got at Dollar Tree hold an ounce. They're, and they're plastic. So I might have to. You won't see them. <laughs> oh, you won't see them because the paper dissolves. Yeah, maybe I'll. Well, I kind of wanted to get the beets planted tomorrow. But I could hold off. We could plant the onions tomorrow. We got onions to plant. And Tuesday, I want to go get more. But I'm going to buy a special plant. And I'm going to name it Tammy. <laughs> In honor of you. That would be fun to buy plants and then name them after my Facebook friends. We could name one Mina and name one Cheryl, name one Angie, name one Rhonda. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun to do? And then I'll have to water them because we aren't going to let, we're not going to let you die of thirst. <laughs> my brother gets after me because I do good until with watering my front porch flowers until about August. And then it gets so hot and I'm not good. I was good last year, but the previous two years, I was not good at watering my porch plants. And my brother would get so irritated with me. And he won't water them for me. He says, that's your job. That's one thing I <laughs> can't get him to do. Tammy, just joking. Cheryl said, under heavy meds. Yeah, Cheryl is, what did Cheryl said? I don't see it either. Cheryl. She wrote it in ghost text. <laughs> yeah, Cheryl is fighting about with with shingles. Oh, I don't envy you. And you know, I went to get my booster shot a couple weeks ago. And uh, the pharmacist, he's a guy. There's a, both a gal and a guy. The guy is, is very knowledgeable. And he asked me, he said, do you have your shingles shot? And I told him no. And he says, well, anybody over age 60, we encourage them to get their shingles shot. And uh, I said, well, isn't that kind of painful and expensive? <laughs> you know, I came here to do my booster shot. I said, I don't think I can, I don't think I can handle two shots in one day. <laughs> and he said, well, he said, do you have Medicare? And I said, well, I only have Medicare Part A. I didn't buy Medicare Part B. And because uh, it's that's expensive too. Every month, a hundred and hundred and seventy, a hundred and eighty dollars a month. I got art supplies to buy. He said, "Well, let me go check and see what it'll cost you." And he come back and he said, "You were right." <laughs> I 
And I said, just give me my booster shot. And so he did. And, uh, but now seeing that Cheryl is fighting shingles, I'm, I'm kind of double thinking it. And Cheryl says, Mary, go get that shot. Tammy said, I get shingles. I can't get the shot. I have them on the left top of my head. Eye and ear on the left. Do you get them more than once? Is it, It's not just a one-time deal, shingles? Mary, if you can get the shot, nobody wants this. Yeah, if you can get the shot, she says, nobody wants it. I think the shot is like 180, something like that. About as much as a, a payment on plan B. Yes, under stress. You can get shingles under stress. Oh, Tammy. Tammy, I won't call you names in Keisha's auction. I don't want you to get shingles. I don't want you in stress. Oh, my. Mary, if you take the shing shot, you may end up getting it anyway? Really? So the shot is just for pleasure? <laughs> Tammy said, oh, yes, you can get them more than once. I have internal shingles, no rash yet. Oh, Cheryl. Well, I remember I was probably about 15, and I wasn't a candy striper, but I was just kind of helping out in a nursing home. I wasn't a nurse aide. I was too young to be a nurse aide, I think. And, uh, oh, I, I did things like help in the cafeteria and scrub floors and stuff like that. So when I was still in high school. Oh, I cut the wrong end on this one. Oops. Well, maybe I'll just leave this one like that. Uh, and uh, I remember one of the residents there. It was just a small town nursing home. But I remember they had shingles and they were saying how painful it was. And I felt so sorry for her. The shot is 85% effective. No shot is 100%. I never heard that about getting shingles from the shot. Check with your doctor always. Wow. Well, I've been thinking about it and watching the pain that Cheryl's going through has given me second thoughts. Tammy. Did it cost you to get them? I never heard. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm caught up with you guys. Your health is well worth it, Ina says. Yeah. Angie said she's heard. I think I've heard that too, that you can get the shingles shot. And isn't the shingle shot kind of like the flu shots? I mean, in the fact that you're actually infecting your body when you take a flu shot, you're actually infecting it with a flu virus that is an antibody to the flu. Doesn't it fight it somehow? Cheryl said, that's how I got shingles. I got the shot last week. Oh, really? So you got the shot and it gave you internal shingles. Ooh, that scares me. I'm not going to get the shot now. <laughs> and I swear, I have to go get my teeth cleaned the 28th, which is coming up here next week. Today's the, what, the 20, 24th? It's coming up next week. And I swear, I never had a toothache until I went to the de dentist. I thought I just had a couple cavities that need filled. And they informed me that I have to have major dental work. <laughs> and I'm going, ah, I don't even feel the pain. And they said, that doesn't make any difference. Well, 
dentist, I, I changed to a new dentist because, well, I had to get dental insurance and this dentist is in my provider network. But I don't know. A couple of these, I had a cap fall off of my tooth and I was worried about it. I was worried about it getting infected and impacted and everything. And he recommended me going to an oral surgeon and that's where I get scared. And I'm still debating whether I want to do that because they're talking about putting me under. And I just have a, a, a fear, and I, and I admit it, it's a fear that once they put me under, I'll never wake up again. <laughs> Not that that would be so bad because, you know, I believe in, I believe in heaven and all that when you die. I believe, well, you guys know what I believe. I ain't going to preach to you. But uh, I don't know. I've got a little more living to do here on earth. It's rare, Cheryl said, but it can happen, getting shingles from the shot. And that's how Cheryl said she got hers. Yeah. Tammy said, yeah, you're, you're building up your immunity. So that's how, with the flu, they give you a, they give you flu to fight off your flu. It's what they're doing. Or a, a not, not big flu. They give you a, something that has the flu virus in it. Mina said, I got my first shingle shot about two months ago. There's a second shot that I'll need to take, but that's another two months from now. Mina, did it cause you a lot of pain? Were you in pain from it? They say it can be painful. Cheryl said, best advice I can give you is to read about shingles because it's still important to get the shot. Everybody has their choice. Yeah. And he says, Mary, you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, Angie keeps telling me that it's okay to go under. You'll wake up again. <laughs> I'm going, I don't know. I don't know if I'll wake up. <laughs> I've, I've seen my brother had to have uh, the VA. Um, they sent him to a doctor uh, because... They just had some moles removed off of his ear. The doctor was uh, not associated with the VA. He was a regular ear, nose, and throat doctor. And he says everybody gets these, <laughs> you know. He went ahead and did it, but he was telling me that, you know, he didn't really think it was that necessary, but the VA was insisting that it be done. So, but... The point of it is, is they put my brother under to do that. And I had to drive him home. But I'm going to get my teeth cleaned. And I know he's going to want to do a set of x-rays. And I know he's going to give me the story about the having the, these removed. And I'm not sure I'm ready for it. Now, I don't think this tea fell out of this bag. I think it was as I was working here. I'm going to... I'm done separating the tea bags. Mina said she wasn't in any pain at all. Now from that booster shot, my first two, you get two COVID shots and then you get the booster. My first two COVID shots were not painful at all. So I wasn't expecting any pain from the booster, but that booster kind of hurt. All right, I'm just going to take this and kind of twist it a little, and I'll go put this out in, not now, but I'm, I'm saving kitchen stuff for compost pile. So this will go out in the kitchen. I'll put it down here where it's nice and safe. Won't spill on the rug because I'm not in the mood to buy a, to car, clean up the rug. So we have that done. Angie says, I've been put to sleep, and you're lucky I'm still here. <laughs> uh, we're glad you're still here with us, Angie. You're our cheerleader. I'm going to buy a plant and call it Angie, too. I'm going to buy a, one, call it Tammy, and one, and call it Angie, and one, and call it Arlene, and 
I'm going to start naming my plants and maybe I'll even talk to them. We'll see how they do. I need to work on my garden gnome. All right, what am I going to do with these? How am I going to keep these? A bobby pin? Will a bobby pin keep them? We shall see. I have to set it down to get a bobby pin out. So Tuesday, I want to go get some plants. I know what I can do tomorrow. We'll plant our onions tomorrow, and I need to rake. I need to rake out the corner. I don't think that the plants are coming up as nice this spring, but maybe it's just me. It's been hot and dry. I mean, not dry. It's been really dry here. We haven't been getting much rain. It did rain once last week. Now these, I don't know. I'm just going to leave them there for now. And this is that little one. I, I think I'm, I'll am i put it with those. Oh, look, I got another one. I'm just going to throw that away. I don't feel like fooling with it. Cheryl says, I'm having shocking pain in my hip and cannot touch my left side without pain or even bump it lightly. Oh, Cheryl. Man, I just hurt for you. I hurt for you. All right, let's get this out of the way. My first thought of what I want to do on here is, yeah, I'm going to make a journal. I have ephemera and fat, uh, flash cards, tea bags, stamps, numbers, flowers, but my and Rolodex cards, and another napkin. I'm going to put all of this kind of over here. My first thought of what I want to do is I want to see. I want to see if I can collage napkins over these brads because they only cost me 25 cents. I must have got them at Goodwill. So let's pick out, let's work with this one first. And there might be enough on here that I won't want to do any others. Let's put that over there. Now I have to, let me get a tape. Reach, reach, reach. Oh, maybe I'll do, well, no, hold on. I've got to stand up. Hi, Riri. How are you doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. It's good to see you in here. Mina says, it's the weather affecting your plants, Mary. Yeah, I think it is. I noticed the hostas aren't coming up. They are coming up, but I need to go out in the front and look down. It's been really windy here. Very, very windy. And they, you know, the wind is caused by pressure systems. And I was watching one weather show on YouTube, and they were talking about how windy it was in Nebraska. And, you know, we have all kind of fire hazard warnings. Uh, we live in town, but that doesn't mean that a fire can't start here and spread because it's so dry. So, uh, but I noticed that the plants aren't coming up as nice as they did last year. I've only got a couple hollyhocks out there on the corner, and I had four of them last year. And the hostas haven't peeked out yet. I don't think I need any more tape. So, I filled my glue pot. Let's just take a, let's take a section of this so it's more easier to handle. And get it off the tea. I'm going to have to take this glass mat off and take the paper off underneath of it. Let me get some wax paper here.
but I'm I'm hoping for a little bit more rain here. Uh, I don't want the tornado storms and everything. I'm not up for that. Let's see. Let's get my brads out on front. I'm going to see if I can't collage napkin on these brads and make them prettier than what they are. Hmm. Okay. Let me just put some of this up above. Another tea bag. I keep throwing these tea bags out. <laughs> Oh dear. I I've already done with the tea bags. I need a towel. <laughs> a towel. And I don't like a wet brush. And we filled our glue pot. We filled our glue pot last week, so that's all ready to go. I'll probably have to put a clean wax paper on that, though. Hi, Nashua. Welcome, Nashua. There's all saying hello to Riri. Nashua says, hello, dear friends. Okay. So, what shall I start with? This? Now, I might have to put, I might have to put more than one layer. Let's see. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I've never done this. I don't know. And I'm just going to put that on there like that now I want let me set it down here and let's clip this You never know to, how this stuff is going to work until you try it. And it may not work at all. Come on, get off of there. I've been watching these dog groomers on YouTube. They find these homeless dogs that are haven't been groomed and their hair is growing and the the dog groomer gives them a I didn't I I had watched uh you guys aren't seeing very well. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in because you're not seeing the Oh here we go. And Let's tip my camera just a little. And I might have to cut that a little more. And I don't, you know, I just kind of want it to be floral. It doesn't have to be beautiful fl flowers. It just has some color on there. And, of course, I'll be putting it in so the bottom underneath doesn't matter. Let me 
it doesn't want to turn in my finger here. Let me clip this off a little more. I'd rather have something that looks something like a flower than soccer balls or baseballs or whatever kind of volleyballs. And I might even use them in my spring journal if, if this dries good. That's kind of pretty. You guys still aren't seeing it. My camera's. Let me tip my, because I work right here. So let me hold this and tip my camera. Yeah, well, no. Camera doesn't want to stay tipped. Let me move it a little here. It's not, it needs to come forward a little. There. I think that's going to work. We're going to set it over here and let it dry, and let's do another one. I think I'm going to have to do two of them, two layers. We'll do that, and let's do a bottom layer off of one of these. Maybe the leaf. See if I can't get a leaf on there. Oh, let's tear this. I don't need such a big piece. Now I'm just using a napkin. I could also use that Tim Holtz collage paper. That would be fun. But that's just that this, this was in the kit. These were things that were in the kit. And of course I probably... Probably won't get the journal made. <laughs> oh dear. I'm interested if this is going to actually glue it to the metal after it dries. It is collaging down there. Let's put this flower on it like let's cut that a little more. Sticks to my fingers. So if you see things like this on sale, like I got this at the thrift store, but, you know, frequently you'll see things that people pass up because, well, they're either not into sports or it just isn't the thing right. You know, if you can, like this whole package only cost me 25 cents. And you can take them home and, and, uh, embellish them. Got a little bit more glue on there than I wanted. And the kit itself, let's see if I can find the, the price on this was at Hobby Lobby. Well, there's my 25 cent. It's a barcode. I don't see a price. It's a spare part one. It was probably a couple. Oh, yeah, $4. $4. And I got it for $0.25. Cents. So what is 
what is 25 cents out of $4? What kind of a percent is that? It has to be what? At least 80, 85%? 90% of four would be 36 cents, right? So somebody help me with my math tonight. 25 cents is what percent of $4? Forty forty cents is ten percent. Five percent is eight eight cents. Hi Barbara, chicken pot pies. Oh, there's Joy. Hi Barbara. Welcome, welcome, and joy with the joy. Forty cents is. I, I'd have to do my arithmetic. I can't do it in my head while I'm talking here. I'm not good with that. I have to put it on paper and do a calculator thing. Mary, didn't you learn your math? I might have to do another layer here. I'm still seeing lines. Joy says, hi, Mina. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Joyce. Barbara's here. Well, anyway, I got a good bargain on these. I'd much rather pay 25 cents than $4. And I'm going to have to put another layer. I don't like this. The leaf is showing up. A little bit of the flower is showing. Did I wipe the flower off? I might have wiped the whole flower off. I think I might have. Now, let's just put it over there. Let's see what else I have here. There. If I can get that down. Move it. Oh, oh I'm picking the whole thing up. some more glue on it. I don't know if this is actually going to do the trick. We're, I'm experimenting. It might have been too wet, too. Or I might have just pulled on it too hard. Algebra hurts my brain. <laughs> Me too, Joyce. I should be able to do a problem like that, but not while I'm arting. Not while I'm doing art. Let's take a little of this pink and move it over. I'd much rather do art than arithmetic. Although I will say arithmetic is pretty easy. Now I'll bet you my grandniece would probably have the answer for me. Mary, you're dumb. <laughs> now don't, YouTube, don't demonetize me because I called myself what was it it was even myself that I called dumb once or I think I said the word stupid in one of my videos and it demonetized me I haven't gotten demonetized for a long time so it depends on what context you say those words in you don't want to insult somebody else. That's a little much. <laughs> well, I know that... It 
isn't 10% of $4 is 40 cents. And this cost me originally was $4. And I got it for 25 cents. So I know that it's probably between 5 and 10, 10%, right? Well, but then you take the 40 cents off. So probably uh, 40 cents off. Well, no. I need a math teacher to tell me. I need to, I, I can't do it while I'm doing this. It's hurting my brain, too. <laughs> Showing your ignorance, Mary, online. Math is not my strong suit. It's okay if I can sit down and do it on paper. But I have a hard time doing math in my head. But that's okay. I'm not perfect. I can draw pictures in my head. Does that help? All right. I think I'm going to call this one done, too. I like that. Oops, but I put it flat down. I didn't want to do that. I want to stand it on its... It's not wanting to stand on its side there. Because i got sticky fingers. Hi, Mary Lou, Auntie Loopy. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. How is this one doing? It's still a little wet. I'm going to have to come in after that's dry and do a little trimming. Where's my palette knife? It wants to stick to my fingers. We'll, we'll leave those alone. All right. We'll keep going here. Maybe if I put the first layer on these, but I think what I'm going to do is cut some squares. Let's do this. This sticky stuff. Let's do this. Let's cut here. And maybe down a little here. I think 80% of $4 would be $0.32. Cents. So 85% of 4 Now I'm so darn curious I can't stop. $4. At 80% would be 32 cents, $4 at, um, right, 80 times 4 is 32, 80 times 45 would be 40, and 32, 36. So Mary can't get this out of her head, and I can't can't think about it, and I can't get it out of my head because I feel dumb. 
feel like I should be able to solve that arithmetic. Where's my math teacher when I need him? <laughs> He's dead now, Mary. He's laughing at you from his grave. I taught you better than that. But I forgot. I'm getting old and senile. I feel like I should be able to solve that. Let's put this on. Somebody tell me the answer. 25 cents is what percent of $4? I know it has to be like 80 or 85 up around there percent off. I'm just guessing. I know it's a high percent. Because that's a pretty good price. Stick to your coloring, Mary. Hi, Mary. Elvis says, and everyone breaking in and out. So I'm shutting down. Oh, we have thunder thunderstorms coming in, Elvis says. I'm just going to let that dry and then I'll come back and cut it off. See if it works to do it that way. I need my tweezers is what I need. I need something to grip onto this to put it down here. I'll let that dry a little and then I'll come back to it. <sighs> do, 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 It's... 6.25%. Six and a fourth percent. I'll buy that from you, Rhonda. I'll take any answer you give me. <laughs> Thank you, Rhonda. I knew somebody would tell me the answer. Now, I know two plus two is four. I got that. <laughs> Don't worry, I got that one. <laughs> Percentage is probably what's not my biggest, strongest suit. You know what I liked in, in the math world? I like geometry. I like geometry. And I'm not bad at math if I can sit down and think about it. Here I'm doing my art and I'm talking to you guys and making a fool out of myself. But I'm really not that bad at math. But I have to think about it more than, than, you know, it just doesn't come to me right away. But of the math world, what I really liked was um, geometry. I love solving the geometry logic problems, improving the theorems and everything. That, I was really good at that. I enjoyed that. And... Uh, I think I'm pretty good at logic now that I've said that and bragged about it. Let's put it this way. I'm better at logic than I am percentages. <laughs> I'm better at logic problems than I am at... And even then I have to sit down and, and think about them. I mean, all logic problems, you kind of have to... I'm going to come back to that. You kind of have to sit down and, you know, work through the logic and I'm good at those Sudoku, uh, of course, I always work the easy ones. Those Sudoku puzzles, I'm good at those. And surprise, surprise, I'm pretty good at Wordle. I'm pretty good at Wordle. 
because what you what's happening with Wordle, and when you guys play that new game called Wordle, W-R-D-L, what you do there, let me give you a hint. You you find out how many vowels are in it and what position they may have. And then you work your consonants around your vowels and come up with a word. I I do pretty good with Wordle. But I just started playing it too. So maybe the longer I play, you know, you'll get your if you don't keep your percent your your winning up, then it's harder to get your your percentage of wins. Get that tape out of the way. And I'm not too bad at Scrabble. I mean, Scrabble kind of is uh, uh, it, it's you have to know your words and there's a certain logic to Scrabble but also it depends on what letters you pull or what letters are give, given to you. And sometimes you can be really smart at Scrabble but if you don't get the if they give you Q every time, you know, if they give you the bad letters all the time, I mean, you know what I mean. I don't play Scrabble anymore. I was playing it with Cheryl and with Anne, but I deleted my Scrabble game. I deleted most of my games. I, I got the New York Time games out there. I play those. But most of my games, I, I still have the solitaire that came with the new phone. I play that every now and then. But I deleted most of the games off my phone because I was spending too much time. I was spending too much time playing games. And I said, I'm going to read more. Now I just I want a little leaf or something. Is there a little leaf in here? Oops. Oh, there is over there. Let's take this one off. Yeah, you can get lost in those. This is too much. It, playing too many games. Spend too much time. Okay. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight left. So if I cut another piece here and do Three strips of three, I'll have nine pieces. But I've been putting two. Well, we'll do it this way and see what I get. I might need to knit more. Getting my scissors all yucky. Hi, Sharon. Sharon, I am, oops, that one's still wet. I am collaging napkins on these little sucker ball breads and putting floral napkins on, on them. I'm going to see how, how it works here. One, two. 
actually what I did was I opened up a kit uh, one of my sorting uh, I opened up a kit and I'm using stuff out of my I I built those kits like Becky builds her pages only I called them kits I think I'm going to need more And I'm seeing what I can make because I want to use up my stash. It's really a using stash. Use it up game here. Thank you, Sharon. Good to see you. And I've showed my ignorance with arithmetic already tonight. <laughs> oh, dearie me. One. Well, I think I could solve it if I, if if I wasn't doing, you know, if I'm, if I'm uh, d sitting down and thinking about it, not trying to concentrate on other things. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. One. Now, I should have enough to do all of these breads. Shall we do that yellow flower here? I'm going to do the yellow flower. Whoops, I didn't get him on there. Get him on there. And then I thought I'd do this. I'm not sure. Over him. Yeah, right in there. Come on. Right there. Put a little glue on top of him. set him over here and let him dry. I think I'm going to have to start putting some over on the other side. And that's not going to work. Yeah, put that tulip on there. It's just giving it a smash of colors, what it's happening. Then I'm going to let it dry a little, then I'm going to come back and trim them off. Yeah, moving that lid didn't help me at all. I'm not sure I like that. 
need some more color. Uh, leaf on it there. Yeah, and I can't there. Hi, Lori. Pink girly, Lori. And Angie says, Lori, sometimes, but not in the mood tonight. How is everyone this evening? Lori, I missed your stream this morning. I have to tell you, I, I, I napped. I got up early and I did all my morning stuff and then I fell asleep. And I have to tell you, I napped a lot today. I need some more here. I need the color on it. We'll see how they turn out. I might end up putting another coat, another layer. But for right now, we're just going to see how these work. I've got five left. Here, see if I can't move along. Get the extra glue off my brush. Let's put this one on here. Like that. Maybe cut it. It's hard after I put them on there to get them back, back down. <laughs> All right, this is pretty with the center, so let's put, let's put something white just to, maybe this, just to get a top layer down. Are you guys seeing what I'm doing? I guess you are. No, that's more than one. That's the pile. Let's put this. Let's put this on here. And then I want this center of this one to go right in there. an awful lot on there. Three left. I got a lot of glue on my brush that I'm trying to use up. Let's 
And of course, I'll come in after these have dried a little and trim off the edges. Now I move that. It moved on me. Trim off the edges so that, you know, they look like a round brat again. I'm going to let that one dry before I fiddle with it too much more. Last one. See if I can put these white ones over it and let that red kind of show through a little. And we're just gonna let that dry. Now, oh, I got two more. They were hiding from me. Okay, we'll get them done. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're trying it because I'm, I'm not. This looks like a volleyball or maybe a softball or a soccer ball. I don't think it's a basketball. Basketballs look different than this. Let's just put this on it. Yeah. By that yellow one. All right. I set it over someplace and let it dry. That's it. Now these two were my first ones. They're not quite dry. I'm going to see if I can hit these with the heat gun. Let's line up a couple. A couple more here. Sticking to each other. That one has a lot of glue on it. Now, see what happens? I don't know what's going to happen when I hit them with the heat gun. I don't know if they'll blow away. Some of these are kind of pretty. I 
All right. It's unplugged. Hold on. I unplugged it by setting a basket over it. Hold on. I don't know if this will get you too hot for my fingers or not. Just hold it with my scissors. There we go. And of course I blew him up, but can you guys see? Maybe I should zoom out just a little now. Am I in too close? Let me zoom out a little. And see how that looks for you. <sighs> I think I'm going to like these. They're just a little floral, touch of floral on these breads. I didn't like them because they're softball. Now I think this is still wet enough that I can just kind of shape it around. But it's pretty dry. Can you see it? I'm waiting until my tablet catches up with me. Just a little floral on there. We'll see how the others turn out. Let's try this one. This is a pretty yellow one. Now, put it with my scissors. Let me put the my brush in the water and the lid on my glue. Just set it on there. Hold on. I want to put wax paper on it. But... Okay. 
Oops, I think I moved it. Did I move it? I think I did. Yeah, I'm messing it up. Glue dries pretty fast. I am uh, covering brads with a napkin. I had some brads alley K that were soccer balls or volleyballs or something. They were sports related. And I don't have a need for sports related brads. They're brads. And I'm just covering them. I'm I'm re furbishing them. Embellishing them. I think I'm gonna like them. And then I'm just cut, cutting off the excess here. I could paint them. But no, this is what I chose to do. Just to see if it would work. That one's kind of pretty. That one's kind of pretty. My tablet is way behind me. It's just a little flower. I'll let it dry a little more over here. That one I'm going to, uh, it's pretty dry. I'm just going to leave that. This one could have a little more dry on it. Actually, what I did, Allie Kay, was I got kit one out. I made kits when I sorted my boxes. And I said I need to start using up my stash. So this is what came in kit one, were these brads and this napkin. Ouch, that's hot. Now you can still see the baseball under this one or the softball or whatever it is. Yeah. That actually needs another layer, but I'll go ahead and dry it off. You get this heat gun up too close to to it and you know you'll puff the glue out you know how you, the glue will bubble up I don't want to do that that's really not too bad but you can definitely see the let me stand up come on heat gun don't roll off my desk. You can still see the soccer ball under this. See those lines? Those are the soccer ball. But it's still kind of pretty in its own way. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to fool with it anymore. Let's cut the excess off. I'm using Bash Blast Your Blast Bash Your Stash Kit One. I remember I put this together several weeks to go I, ago. I think I did it online. Well, I can't get my scissors in there. But the other kits I just did while I was sorting boxes. I think I got something like 15 kits or so. One whole box is a kit. 
Now I got glue on my thumb. I can't feel what I'm doing here. Get that second layer of glue off of my thumb here. Oh, this is, yeah, no pulling that one off. Get these. Lori, hi Becky. Welcome, Becky. Are those volleyballs? I I thought they were they're either soccer ball. I think I said volleyball at one time. I don't have a use for volleyball brads, but they were 25 cents for the package. So I think I got them at the thrift store. But they're they were listed for four ninety nine retail. Becky's here, Paint Girlie's here, Sharon Lombard, Artie Dar Arte Dar. Hi Arte Dar. Let's cut off the excess. This is just using up stuff that was in that kit. Trim that a little more. Kind of pretty. I'm going to have to leave them out and let them dry thoroughly. Yeah, what's going on here? They like to stick to each other. Sticks to my fingers. I don't like that piece there. Come on. There. It doesn't take too long for that glue to dry or dry enough that I can kind of handle it. Now I suppose the thing would be to shellac them or varnish them. I don't know if I want to do that tonight or not. piece right in there. Holding on to my thumb. Yeah. 
varnish them would probably hold them down a little more too. You can see the lines on this one too, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. It's not too bad. I lost it on the bottom. I'm not good at working with my left hand with little stuff. And that's when I'm holding these breads with my left hand, trying to cut with my right hand. That black spot right there is actually a part of a leaf. I wouldn't call this one exactly pretty, but it is what it is. Let's get some of these scraps off. Out of my way. This one's pretty. Bumble fingers. I'm having a hard time holding on to that one. He doesn't like to be held. Got a few more here. I'm going to go ahead and do them. Like napkin kind of folds back on itself. Sticks to my thumb. There. This one's kind of pretty too. Yeah, blew it right on top of itself there.
So this is Sunday night. Janet Nash will be on at nine o'clock tomorrow morning, nine o'clock Eastern. Dee Dee Willingham comes on at 8.30 Eastern. I've been missing both of them. But I'm, I'm planning on getting offline at 10 tonight. I never really go straight to bed, but I'm headed there. And kind of pretty. How many more do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Any hidden back behind there? No, I don't think so. I emptied tea bags tonight. I pulled stuff out of that kit. Let's see if I can't build some stuff. Yep, tonight. I feel like I've made good use out of my kit, though. Out of using up my stash. And just, maybe I'll make a, a quick little mini journal here. If I can't get these done. Now that I have a sense of what I'm doing. Becky says, finish the hat for me out of that green yarn I got yesterday at the thrift store. Very cool, Becky. Um, Becky, I, I know I learned her from you the, what was it, bag, the bag a day crochet? Is that it? Something like that. She had a tip on today. I just happened to glance at it. And she was saying that when you crochet a, or knit a hat, a yarn hat, a stocking cap kind of thing, that kids over five can wear adult sizes because of the stretchability of the yarns. I thought that was very interesting. I can't wait to see that hat that you're going to make um, out of that fabric. I can't wait to see what you do with that hat. I saw your Facebook post about it, Allie says. She's talking about to Becky about her, her hat. Very good, Becky. Hi, Melissa. Welcome, Melissa. Welcome, welcome. Crystal at Bagel Day Crochet. Well, I have to tell you, my crochet, my crochet is kind of taking a back seat to everything because I'm working on that deal, that stitchery roll. I think what I'm going to do for February so I can move along with it is I'm going to stitch maybe a two and a fourth inch squares. I know I have six of them and I'm just going to make placeholders for them. And then as I get them, as I find them, I know I put them in a box and I put them in one of the boxes that I'm keeping out here. And I'm going to be going through those boxes again next week. I ordered some kit boxes. Uh, like what Johnny. I like those boxes that Johnny was sending her studio kits in. Not the last one. She sent the last one in a regular box. But I liked them. And I went on Amazon. And I ordered some. And I think they're 9 by 9 by 12, I want to say, and six inches deep. I'll have to go look at the dimension again, but they're coming Tuesday. And I'm going to use those. I'm going to go through all the boxes that I have with stuff that I want to keep here. 
and I'm gonna put that stuff in those boxes and then a couple of those boxes I'm gonna put these kits I have those Ziploc bags when we st when you start up again on your bits and box Becky I have the bags in a Ziploc bags in another box. So I'm going to put these kits that I made in some of those kit boxes. I think I can get two or three in a box. And the other boxes I'm taking upstairs. So I can get a little bit more organized. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have to buy me a new webcam. I asked Dee Dee what kind of a webcam she had, and she told me. And so I think I want to get me another webcam. I, I might have thrown that webcam away accidentally or packed it away in one of the boxes. I, I don't think I don't have a sense that I packed it away because I, I inventory all those boxes, and I put those things in there one at a time. So I don't think I, I don't think it's in a box. It's, it's in a safe place. Here's another one where all I can see is volleyball. I wonder if I can. Where's that one I kept? Here, let's. And I'm just going to put that aside and let it dry a little. Another one where the... Blew over on it. I think I can cut this off without having to dry it. It's pretty dry. Those are the last two. I knocked all these over. No one will see Scott back. No one will call Scott back. Right now we are trying to 
hire a plumber to do all the new pipes. No one's calling back. We kind of had that with our floor. Uh, we finally got those people who did the roofing to come in, but they kept, they said they would do it, or was it what, October when they gave us the estimate, or the October, I think it was the end of October, the beginning of November. Finally, my brother got tired of them not coming, and he got on the line and gave them a word or two, and they came and finished it, but... And, and they, I have to say, well, let's put it this way. The guy that did the estimate is not the guy that did the work. And we were a little perturbed about that. We, you know, they did a good job. But when they gave us the estimate, they said that they would put the boards in diagonally. They didn't do that. And I was a little disappointed and I didn't realize, I went out to check, and they already had two two rows of boards in, and if, if they said, do you want us to stop? And I'm going, no, it'll be another three months before they get it done. But I don't know what it is with the contractors and the furniture store. Well, I do know what it is uh, with the furniture stores. They're having trouble getting stuff in, but it just seems like this COVID thing is... I don't know. But luckily, we don't need anything. Well, there are things that we could have people do, but it isn't dire necessary. Like a bathroom. I guess they're all busy or shorthanded. Yeah, they could be shorthanded. The labor shortage. This one turned out okay. I kind of like that. All right. So I got one, two, three. Some of these are still a little wet. Let's give that a little dry from a distance. One, two, three, four. Uh, the backs of them. The backs aren't going to show. Five, six. This one needs seven, eight, nine, ten. I like them. I think they're pretty. I can see the lines on that. Three, six, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And uh, I'm not going to use that brush. I'm not going to use that one. I think this is the one that I painted the Matrice Godal with. I get out another paper towel. Here. And let's put something solid under that that I can pick up. Maybe this magazine. I have too much stuff out on my desk. I thought, where's that little paint cup that I had? Where it ran off to. OK, 
Okay, well, that's all right then. Hold the phone. We're going to we're going to use some of this satin varnish on them. And I'm just going to put a little varnish out here. I was going to use that little cup, but it's it's hiding. You don't need a whole lot of varnish, Dee Dee says. So I'm just going to Kind of varnish them. And I won't dry these. I'll set these aside and let them air dry. So I'm not going to be using these tonight. I kind of like them. They're kind of, they're better than volleyballs. Let me put some more varnish on here. This one, you can really see the volleyball. I might have to do paint that and put another layer on it. I'm not going to fool with it tonight. Oh, I set it right in the... <laughs> this one, you can kind of see the lines, too. We'll call them fences. Flowers on a fence. Flowers on a gate. This one you can really see the lines on. Oh well. This one's kind of pretty in its own way. Tammy, again, if you're out there listening, thank you for the super chat. I'm going to I'm going to go plant, buy plants probably Tuesday, and I'm going to get a plant and call it Tammy. I'm going to start naming my plants after you guys that come into chat. I've already got a Becky plant. I got to get out there and see if Becky's turning green yet. <laughs> Are you turning green, Becky? Uh, start calling them and talking to them out there. I kind of like these. A couple of them are, are not covered too well. These two, I still see all the the markings of the ball, and this one I do too. 
I call them fence lines. I might put paint a flower or something on those. Kind of want to get these done. One more. Okay. And I'll just set those aside and let them dry good. Let them dry overnight. Probably won't take that long, but. And let's move on. Mary has been collaging on breads. Yeah. Oh, my kids are getting loud on the road in a golf cart. <laughs> RK Dar says, I'm excited. I had to run out and say stuff like what they said. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, RK. Let's move these and do some something else. Let's move on. Let's move on. I gotta get them moved out of the way so I won't walk on them when I get up. Okay. So, let me put this up. What I have in here, besides those brads and the napkins, well, I got more napkins and more napkins. I got tickets, but I was going to go for that journal. I think I put it up here. This was in the kit. So, let's see. This is actually that white strip is actually part of the Let's start with the white strip paper. I'm not going to bind it right away. I'm going to work on it. And I had some washi tape. This is actually kind of pretty if I can get it open. We're going to put a piece of washi tape up to the top, the top here. Cover up that white strip. Becky says... I have seeds from them, so perhaps I can start fresh. Uh, I had some rows of Sharon, but when we were living between houses, they died. Plan of rows of Sharon. Oh, <laughs> a rose of Sharon. Uh, Lori, are you still here? Angie says, Lori, are you still here? Did you try the thumbs up to see if you light up like firecrackers? <laughs> Angie says, whenever she gives a thumbs up, it shoots off firecrackers. I'm on mobile, so I don't think it's on mobile because I haven't noticed that when I do my thumbs up. Rose of Sharon. What kind of a plant is that? Is that a rose plant or is that a... A perennial or an annual? A Rose of Sharon would be nice. We don't, whoops, see, that's what happens. If you don't get this pulled. You have to get it. Come on. Don't do this to me. If you can get it all pulled at once and get it started that way. I 
this is not wanting to do it. Come on. There. A Rose of Sharon is a beautiful bush with glorious flowers. Yeah. I don't know if I can afford a Rose of Sharon. <laughs> I don't know. Tammy gave me a $15 super chat. All right. Is this still sticky? I probably should do another little run of the glue stick here. I need more than one hand. I think I'm going to start on this side. And hopefully, hopefully, if I'm lucky, hold on to that. It's beginning to tear right here. Tear right in the middle. Where are my scissors? See what it does? Well, I think this... where it started at over here see it doesn't tear if you don't get all the layers off it can affect the next layers and this is so thin it's got all these layers on top and as you come around it affects the next layers. It's really yucky. I can catch up with it here. Riri says, I have two white blooming ones and one lavender color one. Mary. I have Verizon smartphone, so check your thumbs up. I think it's a YouTube thing. Oh, maybe I need to upgrade my YouTube. Maybe I need to upgrade my YouTube. I'll check it out, Angie. I know I've given thumbs up today. I'm just pulling this. I want to get this, these layers here. Of, I want to get this. To, started so that it will pull right i think i'm there i hope i'm there let's just clip this here and fold this under wasted i have a where did that run off to is it over here i have a washi tape page here that I've been putting all my extra washi tape on. I 
I need more hands. <laughs> This extra washi tape, this was a foil cover, one of those gold foil things. All right, enough of that. At least we got the white line covered. Oh, there's another white line over here. I don't want to think I'll use that washi tape. Let's try this. This is... Tim Holtz, blessed, cherish forever. I don't have much trouble with Tim's stuff, so I might have to eat my words here. I have to give it to him. I have to say, I haven't bought any Tim Holtz washi for a long time. And this, I don't know if this is what I bought or if I got it at, sometimes I get washi tape at the auctions. A bag of washi tape sometimes on sale. Let's fold this under. There we go. That was pretty easy. So we got that far. Now, since we got Tim Holtz there, let's see what's in here. We got some ephemeris. Orleans. Vinegre do dog something something something. That that one. And maybe electric light portrait studio. From the daylight. Accelerators. What's this? There's a card. That's in French. E. Brussel. Charbonne's Cokes. All right, we'll just leave that. I think I'm going to put these down. Because the fold is right. Fold this in half. I'm just using up, using up what was in that kit. Let's put it that way and that way maybe. That looks a little weird, but there'll be other pages in there. Yeah. And I did have tape in that kit. It's got string on it. Sharon says, thanks, Riri. Ours are double. They're talking about the, what are they talking about? Flowers? Mary, I have Verizon. Rose of Sharon is one of the cheapest Oh, hi, Tamari. Tamari. Um, I think it was you that Barb Owen showed some of the cards that you sent her. Tamari. Yeah, it was you. Those were pretty cards. Do you sell cards? Because she showed that you had a barcode on the back of one of them.
Rose of Sharon, Hibiscus Syricus, Hibiscus Syricus <laughs> is a deciduous hibiscus species that produces an abundant showy blooms in the summer and fall. Rose of Sharon. Well, I'll bet you Earl May would have them. I usually skip over the rose bushes. Um, do they need to be planted in the shade or the sun? That makes a difference, too. And what kind of soil? I'm going to put this one straight up. But you know, now that I've taken the tape off of it, I want to... And I was laughing at my stamp. I was telling the gals I was disappointed with how this top dandelion didn't print off very well. And when I was writing comments in there, it just hit me that that's a Make-A-Wish dandelion. Somebody blew the, the puffies off of it. <laughs> Somebody blew the little dandelion puffies off of it. So that's why it didn't print very well. Of course, I should have done this before I took off the release paper, but no, I didn't. All right, we're going to put this down here. Just like that. And these flashcards are yelling at me. Let's put this other one on. Let's put it, I want to put it at an angle because there'll be papers in between here. So this will not, you'll not see this at the same time you see that. So it's okay to angle it if I want. Let's go ahead and ink that one up too. And actually this ink is, well, I was going to say it wasn't smearing too bad, but it gets on my fingers. Well, I really got it there. All righty. Yeah, let's go ahead and let me go down to the bottom of the chat. Tamari says. They tolerate all soils, sun or shade. Well, good. Maybe I'll try to plant, maybe I'll try to find one and we'll name it after Sharon. I'll, I'll look Tuesday. Um, if it's not too expensive, I'll get one. I got my YouTube check, so I told my brother I was buying flowers with my YouTube check. <laughs> he said okay so and I I think I'm going to have to buy some hollyhock because I think our hollyhocks out there have, have and my brother loves hollyhocks really need to come up in the spring though when they start popping out so if I'm going to do hollyhocks I better get them in the ground I guess that's going down there, ink and all. Let me do my hands here. And I was thinking what I'd like to do here is cut. I'm such a I'm such a good fussy cutter. I don't do too good on curves.
Hmm, got another eight here. And then I got collage medium on my scissors, collage stuff on my scissors. Lori, I have some pineapple sherbet. Yummy. Mary, can you tell Janet Nash that I have to go clean a house and I will re rot? Well, uh, I'm awake. <laughs> if I'm awake, sometimes I haven't, I haven't been making Janet's streams. But I'm sure she'll understand. You have to clean a house tomorrow. If I'm there, I'll tell her. If anybody else in here hears what Angie is saying, if you're in Janet's stream tomorrow tell her that angie said she's got to go clean a house and she'll watch the replay let's do the four and the one 14. i think i can get the four there let's cut it here I'll let her know, Becky says. Becky will tell her, Angie. I have to tell you, I try to get up and watch those, but I'm not so good at it. And she's been putting her prompts out on her community tab. And I like to do her prompts. I like to tell little Ruby Rose stories, but I haven't been getting that done lately either. I'm bad. I'm just bad. I start things and never get them finished. Mary's uh Mary's not good at that. I try. I do get some things done. I just don't get everything done. <laughs> but you know, for me, it's like for this right here, what I'm doing tonight. It's the process of doing it. I don't have to have a finished project to enjoy what I'm doing. Eventually, I get them done, but it's the process. I enjoy this process. Now, I think I have another four over here. I was looking, I showed the gals the other night in my stream, that basket where I had a whole stack of postcards. They're all ready to mail. I've even got the, some of them, I even have my return address on them. I don't think I dated them. I've got them all stamped, uh, the back all done. I don't have postage stamps on them. But all I have to do is address them and get them in the mail. And I was, as I was cleaning, about two, two years ago, maybe three years ago now, I made these 4th of July tags. I got a whole, almost a whole shoebox full of them. And I keep saying I'm going to send them, send them out around the 4th of July. I never get it done. My wax paper keeps slipping down on me here. Let's go ahead and finish this one. Got a lot of fours. And I got a line here. I don't know what I'm going to do with that line. Mary, it's because you are starting. Yeah, I'm staying up until 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> uh, well, that could have a little to do with it. But sometimes I try to go to bed early and I just lay there wide awake. And my mind isn't racing or anything. It isn't like I'm, it's not anxiety. It's just 
I'm not tired. I'm not tired. So I get up and sometimes I turn YouTube on. Sometimes I read. All right. Do I, how do I want to put these on here? Here, I got another one here. Let's do this other one. I don't know. I could could put. I don't know how I want to do that. Let's get rid of these or I'm going to be mad at them. Eight forty-five. I'm only going to be on till 10 tonight. Let me get these out of my way. Okay. What else do I have here? I'm not sure I like that covering those up. I think I like that. So I got that down. I got these clock numbers. I've got corsets upside down. Another napkin. Oh, these are those. I went through those. Let's put all those aside. I got Rolodex cards. I got this black paper. I might use that on the other side. I got these tea bags. I might use that on the other side. Piece of leather. I got this angel. I got their Christmas angels, but they don't have to be. But you need something white behind them. Flash card. Ooh. Mm. Let's look at these flash cards. We'll come back to those. <laughs> I want to work on this one. Let's see. So I know what I'm going to do there. Oh, how about some stamps? Let's use my stamp. This is, all these things were in kit one. 
Now, of course, I'm not going to use everything up. I won't be using everything, but I'll do the same thing that Becky does on her bits and bops. I'll put it... I'll put it back in the in the kit for next time. Well, let's just do it this way. Let's see which one do I want? I wanted it in there. I got it in there all right. All right, that's good enough. Oh, let's put it back. so messy so messy all right we use the stamps let's put the numbers on and I think I think, I think, I think I will use a little bit of Elmer's glue. Becky says, I need to head the to bed too. Good night. Good night, Becky. Hi, Melissa. Welcome, Melissa. Good night, Becky. Sleep well. I'll be going to bed in about an hour, or at least turning off my, at least turning off you my uh, live stream. Let's do it lopsided. And I can't do anything without putting a human face on it. We need a human. And I'm just doing this because this is just using up my stash. It doesn't mean anything particularly. 414 and 818. But it needs some interest. This is interesting, but it doesn't 
it's not calling to me. It's not calling to me. It's just saying so. So? So what? Well, it says author Langdon, Langdon there. Author Langdon. And I think, I think I'll keep kit one out and just work out a kit one for a while until I get bored with the stuff that's in it. And see how much of this stuff out of kit one that I can use. All right. And of course, this wax paper is slipping down. Let's just take it out. So I need a people. I, that just says it needs a people. That almost looks like a head there. <laughs> that almost looks like a head when I look at my tablet. I have some. I have some peoples over here somewhere. Of course, when I want them, they hide from me. Where'd they all go to? Where'd they all go to? I had a whole bunch of... I had a whole, a whole bunch of uh, paper dolls. They're gone. Huh. I keep them over here. I must not have put them back in the same place. Well, that's annoying. What do I have? bothers me. Hold on. I'm going to look for them. I need them. I need something. There's a jelly plate. Paint brushes. Did I knock them over? I hate when I do those things. What else is down there? I've got to get a box out for my stencils. I've got too many stencils over there. They're beginning to... All right, let's see what I have here. This is not out of box one. We'll put, all right. We'll put these back in box kit one. I'll save that. I'm kind of liking her. I'm kind of liking her. But I want something smaller, I think. I got the kids. Kind of like him. I wish I could find my paper dolls, but I'm not going to look all over for them tonight. We're going to fussy cut this guy out. He's just standing by a chair.
And you know what? These are layered. These are layered papers. So let's take the layer off. Be easier to glue down. There. Easier to cut, too. Rose of Sharon. Ooh, I'm going to cut his ear off. It's too hard to... Nobody knows that I cut his ear off. Angie said she's going to lay down. Good night, Angie. Sleep well. You've got a big day of house cleaning ahead of you tomorrow. There. I kind of like him. I'm going to put him right there. Right in the... Whoops, I don't want to take that off. Right in the center of the page. Maybe up a little. Maybe up a little more. No. Yeah, right where I had him. How does that look? I like him there. We're just going to do that with tape. Maybe I'll put a little glue around the edge. Rose of Sharon. Now I want to go to Earl May and see, because they probably have the best choices in flowering bushes around here, and see if they have a Rose of Sharon. And we'll call it Sharon. But I need to get a plant. I need to get a special plant for Tammy. But Tammy's super chat. I'm going to get a plant and There, I like that pretty much. Adds an interest to it. Now this one, now I got the extra four. I think I'll put, let's see what's in here. <sighs> These are all floral. I don't know about those. How about my tea bags? Where did I put my tea bags? Right here. Let's play with these tea bags. Let's collage them. Let's collage them on this side. I'm kind of liking what I do with that wax paper. Get that out again. I'm 
done with the glue for now. With that glue, let's get this out again. And put the cap on my glue stick. I have room to work. Okay. And I need to give these brushes a good cleaning in Murphy's Oil Soap. I'm going to take all these. Whoops. I almost put somebody in timeout. Hi, Suze. Oh, no. He can only half here. Oh, <laughs> He wasn't listening to me anyway, Suze. I'm going to put these. These are the strings that were on that those tea bags. I'm going to put them in here for now. I might use them. Maybe I'll leave that one hanging out just to remind me of what they are. <laughs> All right. Washi tape. Welcome, Suze. Oh, I still want to... I still want to to uh, jessel this other Matryoshka doll tonight too. All right, we're going to collage some tea bags, and I think by doing that, that makes this look old. If I remember right, if you tea bag over a folder, maybe we'll do that on the other side. Let's get those pictures out again. Where did I put them? They were here a minute ago. Where did I put those photos? See, that's it. I have them in my hand. Here they are. Ooh. Here they are. That one. See what I have. I like her. Got a couple of gentlemen here. I think I like these two ladies. We're gonna we're gonna put these down and then collage tea bags over them. And I'm going to cover the whole page, I think, with tea bags to use them up. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to be, it's summer is around the corner. I drink most of the iced tea. I use about six or eight of those small tea bags, the small ones. Not the big ones of, we got tea left from last year to make my tea. I make iced tea and put it in the refrigerator. And then I save all my tea bags. I think I have some out in the kitchen yet that are drying. Don't know if I kept those or threw them away. When we had those guys come in and put in our floor, we had the, we cleaned a lot of our kitchen stuff up, and I might have thrown them away, just not wanting to deal with them. Uh, 
All right. Let me see where the fold is again here. Folds right there. So, what did I do? Put her down. <laughs> so we're going to put her right about here. We're going to put her in the center. Both of these are going to be in the center. I still have glue on my fingertips. All right. Just do the other one. Sue says, that's an old-timey plant. You can probably find it growing on the side of the road. The Rose of Sharon? I don't know. Um, we used to have a lot of plants growing on the side of the road. I don't see them so much anymore around here. I don't know if the farmers or the road crew gets rid of those things. Sometimes I see the goldenrods around here. Uh, the goldenrods grow pretty wild. I don't see a whole lot of flowers growing in the ditches anymore. We used to see the road crews used to plant gladius along, along the roadside. They were so pretty. I know my mother enjoyed them so much. Those purple, those... And then they would, gladias will come back. They're a daisy plant. And they reseed themselves and they come back. But, you know, I haven't seen a whole lot of that. I don't know if the, they just decided not to do it anymore or what. That I sure wish they'd start it up again. <laughs> we see weeds. Weeds are just plants you don't want. Am I okay here? Maybe right in. It isn't, they aren't going to show side by side anyway, so. All right. And I'm going to collage over these ladies. I didn't take the, the layers off of them. Now, but do I want to put something pretty in there? Uh... Let's use up the rest of this. I think I only have one left. One, uh, let's divide this in four. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to do it this way. I can tear it. So I made my brads tonight and that took me a good a good amount of time to collage those brads. And then I think I just worked on this. Let's pull this down a little. And then I'll take the scraps here and collage them in there. Let's do these first. All right. And is my camera crooked? Because my paper's straight. Let's straighten out my camera. My heat gun's in front of me here. Mm. Yeah, my camera's crooked.
Good to see you, Suze. Good to... I got paintbrush in my mouth. It's good to see you, Suze. See you coming online. Haven't seen you for a while. Hi, Lisa. Oh, thank you, Lisa. It's good to see you, too. Are you streaming tomorrow night, Lisa? If you're streaming, I'll come watch you. I uh, haven't been catching very many people's live streams lately. I'm going to try to catch up with that. They're saying hi to Lisa. Hi, JL. There's JL. Hi, JL. We missed you last week, JL, in Anne's room. I said, where's JL? We didn't know where you were. You're usually there. We missed you. We missed your presence. This is actually the spine here, so I'm not too worried if I don't get that covered, but I'm going to be putting tea, leaf, uh, tea leaves, tea bags over everything. In the emergency room, what happened? Are you okay? Are you okay, JL? Well, obviously you're still alive or you wouldn't be here. <laughs> but really, are you okay? Cheryl has been fighting a, a bout of, with shingles. Now, let's see if I can cut these ends off and collage those down. Cut these ends off here. Well, I'm glad you came in here, JL. Whatever's going on, we hope that it's not, <laughs> not fatal. <laughs> Let me cut these off here. folding over on itself. And what I want to do is take and collage. Or I could put washi tape there, but let's put You're in pain to have nose packed 10 plus hours nosebleed. Oh, JL. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, we missed you. I hope that. Are you okay now? Are you are you still in pain now? What caused a 10-hour nosebleed? That's scary. I've never heard of that. Prayers. Yeah, we're sending prayers up for you, JL. Sue so says shingles are from the double hockey sticks. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Sounds like somebody got hit with hockey sticks. 
Now I'm just talking there. Oh, my JL. Sharon says, hi, Becca. Who am I missing? Saying hi to. I don't see everybody that comes in. So if I miss you, if you come in and say hi and I miss you, it's Sue says H-E-L-L. -L. <laughs> oh. My goodness sakes. You guys. I think you guys need some prayers. Let's just pray for some healing. For you guys. Lisa said, I had shingles about 10 years ago. It was horrible. Lisa, are you streaming tomorrow night? Or maybe you don't know yet. I think I saw Janet Baum do this once. I've heard of it being done, but I never really saw it done until Janet did these tea bags over old photos. And it makes them look like they're antique ones. I think I'm going to do this. How am I going to do it? I, I didn't really want to seam it right down her face, but that's what's happening. So that's what it's going to be. Yeah, that's not too bad here. I really like this technique of doing this. Yeah, my underneath is still kind of wet, so it's kind of sticky there. Can't hold on to it with the... <sighs> Need something to hold it while I'm smoothing out the tea bags here. Well, JL, I hope you're better by next Thursday. Lisa said you're planning. Lisa's planning on streaming tomorrow night. You start around, I believe she starts around 6 Central. Lisa, my eclectic life. Lisa, if you want to drop a link to your channel or one of the mods, drop a link to Lisa's channel. I'm sure everybody in here knows Lisa, but just in case maybe somebody on the replay is watching. I'm going to try to make it tomorrow night, Lisa. I haven't been good about watching streams lately. Anybody's streams. I get to Becky's. I, I've been getting to Becky's streams because she's doing that spring journal, and I'm enjoying doing that. Do you know when Tanya's going to be back? Is she, is she still exploring the West with Hubby? We're missing Tanya. She, you guys have been out for a couple months, haven't you? You and Tanya. 
6 p.m. Eastern. And she dropped a link to her channel. Thank you, Lisa. I'm going to try to make it tomorrow night. Sue says, I've heard that shingles are the worst. The pain and the itching are unbearable. She's still in Alabama trying to get some repairs done on the RV. Well, they have more problems with RVs. <laughs> That RV, though, if they if they still have that big one that they had last year, was that last year when they went out west and they came back through Nebraska? And they showed me their big RV. They stopped in Grand Island and we had a lunch. Oh, I don't like how that's overlapping. It's got a extra piece there. Boy, that's a huge R old RV. It's like sleeping in a semi-truck, I think. And in the big part of the semi-truck. The huge RV. There we go. Boy, that's that's it's got a little crease down in there, but oh well. All right, let's do the other side. I got a lot of these tea bags. Uh, here on the side, sometimes they have this extra little piece where it seals, and that forms a crease. I'm going to do this one this way. No. Well, that's going to be on the... This side's going to be on the spine anyway. It's not going to show. know if I got this under part glued down here. Thank you, Suze. Yeah, this is not, this technique has been done before. This is not my technique. I didn't invent this. I think I saw Janet Baum do it. Or she showed, she showed one. It, it ages your photos. It'd be fun to do some of these and put them in my history journal. See that extra piece, that extra seam on the side there. I'm going to put that side over this way. This has got a tear in it. It's fun just to get out some of your supplies. I've been doing all that organizing and cleaning. Now it's time to use up some of this stuff and actually use it. Yeah, it needs to come over a little.
Now, just for these bottom ones, I, I need to cut the edges off here, but... all at once. I'm only going until 10 o'clock tonight. I've been trying to end my evening streams at 10 rather than going. Sometimes, sometimes I go more just depending on what I'm doing I want to after I'm done with this I want to gesso the Matryoshka doll and I'm going to do Penelope I'm going to have a Ma Penelope Matryoshka doll and those were sent to my by Sue's they were gifted to me by Sue's and uh, they've been here. I just haven't gotten to it yet. And I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it and do it. Did I? I don't think I glued that yet. Now, I don't have those big, huge iced tea bags like I've seen Tanya use. You can buy iced tea bags that are very, very big, large ones. Now, so I'm kind of having to piece them together here. But still, it works, doesn't it? All right, this side's, well, it's still damp. So let's give it a, let's take and put some more wax paper on there. I think I'm done with the glue for tonight. Isn't that cool how that turned out? Miss Jude got after me one night because I wasn't, putting wax paper under here so I did that and that really works she said it would she said I told you it would Mary so let's hit this with the heat gun ah thank you thank you Suze so exciting you're going to do Penelope yeah yeah I'm going to do Penelope and Matryoshka doll This message isn't showing. Did you retract it? Oh, I think she retracted it. I have the dark on, the dark theme, so sometimes I don't see the deleted or retracted messages unless I really stare at them. So tomorrow is Monday. We've got Janet Nash and Dee Dee. Janet comes on at 9 Eastern. Dee Dee comes on at 8.30 Eastern. 
Janet Young comes on after Dee Dee. I think it's around 1 Eastern, but I could be wrong there. I keep getting Janet's time mixed up. And then Lisa will be on at 6 p.m. I stitch with my... I think we want to plant onions tomorrow, though. But maybe we can get that done. I, I stitch with my stitchery friends in the afternoon. I want to... I'm going to work on my stitchery row. And... Uh, let me get this off. I want to stitch for the... February, I don't have all the blocks in hand. I think I put them in a box, and I think I know which box they're in. They're here. And I put a lot of my Happy Mail in a box that I could get to. But I'm just going to stitch like, they should be about two inches, but I'm going to make my, I'm going to make outlines, and I'm going to make them two and a fourth, I think, inch box squares and then I'm going to stitch the word February and then I'm going to go on to March I have to see what I did in March April I know I'm going to do gardening and daffodils but around the corner is May already so if I want to get that done and I'll probably do something in reference to the caboodles and the art journals that I've been working on maybe something about the organiz organizing Maybe something about the dentist. I think I went to the dentist in the 1st of March. Could have been the end of February. <laughs> Put a big old tooth there. Alrighty. Now, let's, I think I'll use, uh, let me get it out here, if I can. Come on, don't be stubborn. I ain't gonna be stubborn. Come on, what are you waiting for? It's always the last one. Where is it? the phone. I thought I had a... Well, I have that one. I thought I had a rose-colored one. chair someplace oh it's way over on the other side I'm not going to get up let's put these back okay I just want to do the edges oh, 
around. I think I'm gonna do it this way. Still a little damp. You use the heat gun, but it still needs to air dry. I think that's pretty good. We'll call that done. Now, I'm just going to let that set for a bit. And I still have to put something on here. This just seems unfinished. Let's start putting stuff back in my bag. And maybe I'll find out what I want to do. I'm going to put silver paste. Oh, silver paste. Maybe we'll do some silver paste. Let's rub some silver paste on this. how that changes it. I'm not going to do too much more to this. Where's my glue? Did I put it back? Have it all the way open.
That didn't work. Didn't want to be glued down to that. Let's try it again. Doesn't want to stop dots. I think if I just let it dry, it'll be okay. Let a little of that red show over there. Okay. So I'm going to start putting stuff back in my, and I'll add these pictures, maybe a ticket on there, put a ticket on there, and this is the, more of the journal, I'm just going to work out of this bag, this kit, this is all kit one, that I put together, several weeks ago. BBYS kit one. Let me put these. It's gonna fight me. Let me put these in here. And tape. flashcards, tea bags. I wanted to work on these other flashcards, but that's not going to happen. What's not going back in here are the brads. These are napkin bags. I'll put those back in. I have to. I have to find a good spot for them. And flashcards. Let's tear a couple tickets off here. Flashcards. We had Rolodex cards. There's enough in here to do several things. I think that was it, the heat and bond strip. Maybe I'll put this with a graham, pack, graham cracker package. I had this ink bottle. Thing. We'll put that, we'll put this thread in there too. It's just hanging here, getting in my way. I think that's about all. Oh, the washi tape. We'll put the washi tape back in there. Hold it. I got scraps. Scrappy, scrappy, scrappies. All right, I think that's about it. And we'll put that, this tape came in the package, so we'll put it back in. Let me put my glue away. Okay. Where am I going to put?
Oh, of course I fold it back on itself. Now it won't come off my thumb. Honestly. I, I want to put it straight. Right about there now all that stamp let's just stamp with it And that goes back in the bag and oh the t we didn't use any of our Tuscan red we'll put that back for another time but I feel like this page needs something else and I'm not sure what that's what I have over here I've got some scrap there oh I've got a double-sided text tape that, that'll be fast where am I gonna put it Right here, I think, right? Right there. Some more of it. I'm going to cover up my stamp there. But that's okay. I like it. Or I could. I haven't been watching chat. I want to finish up this page. Put that in there. And I've got another piece that I can put there. It's hard to hold on to it. Now, honestly, there's my, I was looking for this. Let's see what else I have here. Got some yellow. Ooh, I still have these. 
Let's put my ink away. I'm getting it done here. I want to finish it up tonight. I'll probably make the other side my thumbnail. What time is it? 9.55. I might go a little over 10 because I want to I want to just sell that Matryoshka doll. That won't take long, but I want to finish up this page. What else do I have lurking over here? Yellow. Some pink pieces. Here's another one of these. No, that's not, they're not going to fit on there. All right. <sighs> no. I think uh, I'm just thinking what I what I'm not quite happy with this page yet and maybe all I need to do I got a lot of these little scraps laying around they just annoy me just annoy me you create them Mary all right this goes back in the kit so I put everything back in the kit here except for this page and the brads And I'm going to continue to work out of this kit until I've used up most of it. I'm just going to keep it out. So on here, I, I'm still not happy with this. Let's, let's do this. Maybe that's all it needs, some border. And this is just going to become a little mini journal. I've got some other pages in this kit. And I'll just make a little mini journal and... I won't say when I'll work on it again, but I will work on it again. All right, I think I'm happy with that. And this, I think I'm gonna make as my thumbnail, but I'm not ready to do the thumbnail yet. What I'm going to do is move this and fold this in half so I don't get any red on it. And we're going to hurry and gesso these Matryoshka dolls. And I've been using up my older paint here. Is that the empty? Yeah, that's the empty one. 
Let me grab another towel. And I think I did the inside first. Let's. I think I used this to glue those with, but it won't hurt to. I used these to varnish those brads with. No, to glue the napkins on the brads. This needs to be clean with Murphy's oil soap. And. I don't mind dipping my brush down into this paint because it's old paint. I want to use it up. And we're going to do the inside. And I think I'm going to have to sand these anyway. So I don't mind coming back and sanding even after I've... Just so them. And all I'm doing is getting a base coat on here. They're not going to be white in the end. I think she'll probably have a blue. Maybe I'll make it a royal purple. Because she's got a new outfit now. And what I did last time, I wanted to turn this. I turned the whole... Yeah, just put it in there, Mary. That, that works. And I'm just getting a base coat on so that I can paint. my finger on that where's a even a pin Just hold on to that for me would you yeah now let's do the other one Get as much as I can off of that brush. Yeah. Pretty sloppy, Mary. Okay. If I can't. All righty. We'll let that dry. 
that didn't take long. I'm going to set it. I'm going to set it up here, let it dry. So, it is 10.05. Let me come out to chat. Somehow I got out of chat. Lisa said good night. Good night, Lisa. Have a good evening. I'm going to try to catch her tomorrow night. I won't say I'm going to be successful, but I'm going to try it. And let's bring my ladies down here again. I think I'll take this up. It needs to be cleaned anyway. Oh, this goes back in the kit. This is BBYS Kit 1. I made... I actually did four pages here. Let's trim that. I actually did four pages in the little mini book. It'll be this. I might put this in the center. But we did this one and this one and these two. So I got the light shining here. It's probably been bothering you guys the whole time. Yeah. Sorry about that. Still. I have to have it when I'm working. All right. So. Good night, Mina. Hi, Laura. What is a BBYS? It's Blast Bash Your Stash. And when I was doing those inventory in all those boxes here lately, I st well, I made up the Ziploc bags for Betsy's Bits and Bops game. I got 20 of those, but I was inventorying other boxes, and so I've started putting them in kits. And I'm just going to, it's using up your stash. And I call it BBYF. Somebody said, Blast Bash Your Stash in the chat. So I've made up kits. And I'm just going to, uh, that's what I'm calling it. Be Blast Bash Your Stash. And I'll come back. I, I'm making a journal out of what's in here. I've got, I just don't need another journal. But there it is. And I'm going to have to clean this tabletop, Laura. <laughs> Mary, I have never seen... Hi, Helen Cole. That trick with the needle while you're painting so it doesn't get your fingers on it. Genius. It was desperation, Helen. Hi, Helen, and welcome. Helen um, created the... And it's out on Amazon. The pa Pass It Forward art journal that Dee Dee used for... Uh, when we all sent things in to for Barbara Owen for Barb Owen, it's called the Pass It Forward Journal. Is that what it is? Pass It Forward Journal, I believe. Welcome, Helen. It's good to see you. Brenda says, Helen, the guy, an older neighbor. I agree, Helen, on the messaging. Brenda, I thought the comment you deleted was about the man in Mary's picture. I wondered how you knew so much about him. <laughs> oh, I missed some chat here. They said good night to Lisa. Helen says, me too, Lisa. It's a little scary how easy you can post the wrong message. Ooh, what are you guys talking about? Lisa says, so sorry about that. Not laughing about the cat. I just about putting the wrong message. I've done that on Facebook before too. Oh dear, wait, I've got to catch up with what you guys are talking about. She's a house cat and got out the door. Oops, on my message, I took it off. I was writing with my ne Oh, Brenda posted a message. Mary, are those roosters your stamp? If not, I suggest the roosters as a stamp. Well, you know, um, you're calling these, are you talking about these, Suze? Uh, Becky, Aunt Beck actually did a stamp of these. I did a stencil. 
I did a stencil. I'm, I might have it out here. Let's see. And while I was doing the stencil, Becky liked those birds so well that she did a stamp. And she just sent me one of these. This is my stencil here. This is my stencil. I got the stencil over on the cart, but this is, you know, I'm still zoomed out a little. But I did these as a stencil. Here's the sketch I used here. And then out of that sketch, I created a stencil, and this is what I stenciled off over here. But Becky did a stamp out of those. So your suggestion, Becky did your suggestion already. Let's see. Brenda says, I've been lurking. I've been looking for my cat. Helen said, did you find your cat, Brenda? Brenda said, oops, on my message. I took off. I was riding with my daughter. She's been looking for her cat. Uh, Mary, what does BBI West stand for? Oh, I think Lisa left already. Laura asked too. BBYS stands for blast, blast bash your stash. <laughs> uh, I think they're both gone now. But anyway, that's what it stands for. I was trying to hurry and get done here, so I wasn't following chat. Aileen's is good for stuff like that. It's thick and slightly gummy. Oh, Aileen's uh, thick, thick and, what is, I got some of that. Aileen's thick and, what is it called? And I got it here. Aileen's tacky glue. I think Suze is talking about now, Mary, you get now, Mary, you're catching up with us. Yeah, I like this idea with the tea bag too. It really does make them look aged. And let me, while we're here, let me reach down here and see how my quips are doing, my brads are doing since I've already gone over. These are the brads that I covered, and I'll hold a couple of them up so you can see them. These were volleyball sports brads, and I didn't like them. So let me go down to the bottom of chat here. Tacky glue, Sue says, yeah. Was Rosemary here? Hi, Rosemary. Welcome, welcome, Rosemary. Oh, you guys, you know what Rosemary is doing next month on her caboodle. It's a cowgirl. <laughs> it's a cowgirl. I can't wait to get the May caboodle. I skipped I skipped April's caboodle just because, well, well, you can see I got all this stuff on my desk I'm trying to get done. But I could not resist the cowgirl one. <laughs> Welcome, Rosemary. Okay, let me hold a couple of these brads up so you can see. These were... These were volleyballs. And I didn't like them. I didn't like them, so I collaged... A, ro a floral napkin on them and they still need to be trimmed up a little I see on parts there's this one here on some of these you can still see the volleyball behind it uh, whoops sorry my head is hitting the camera here's one here whoops here's one here I kind of like them this one's pretty. You can really see the volleyball on that. I might have to put another floral on there. You know, you collage. It's just, I, I kept the, I didn't coat this. I could have painted them white before I collaged. That would have helped a lot. But I'll just put another layer on them maybe. I just wanted to see if it would work. And I think for the most part it did. I just have to use a little bit more. I like this one. But uh, 
the here's the thing i'll use them this i'll use these i would not have used the volleyball ones and i could probably take let's get out that red ink again now that i would put a napkin on them i could probably use this red ink over the napkin let's see if that'll work Let's take one of those that have the volleyball. Uh, here, this one. And let me stand up because I'm not zoomed in. Let's see how this works. See, that's, oh no, that's got, well, it's got a lot of lines on it. Though. Let's ink this up a little here. Maybe a lot. <laughs> I kind of like that. Got to get it in where the the napkin kind of folded on that. Let's try another one. Let's try another one that has a lot of lines showing. And let's just ink it. At least it's not a volleyball anymore. Well, you still see the lines on that one. So the, the ink is kind of transparent. The lines are showing through it. I guess I need a, a paint. And this is archival. And now this would not stick on the metal brad, but they're collaged with napkins. I'm going to leave that one alone. Well, maybe a little red on the edge here. And on the other edge. And who knows, I might come and put something else on them. These, the, the ink on this, on these are just, you know, the lines are still going to show. So I may come in and put something else on them. All right. I'm done playing for tonight. <laughs> I like how my ladies turned out. Those were my success. These... I'm going to say it's semi-success for those brads. I think I need another layer. It'd be neat to find a, a tiny picture. And I might have, but I'm not going to go digging on it. I might have some collage paper with tiny little faces that might fit on there. So I'm just going to line these up here. These will not be on the thumbnail. I'm just lining them up to get them out of my way. So I will not be on tomorrow, but Lisa and uh, not Lisa's on late at well, late in the evening at six o'clock p.m. Central. Lisa, my eclectic life. Um, Janet Nash at nine in the morning and Dee Dee at eight thirty. Rosemary says, cowgirl, I hope that I can put pennies together for that one. Oh, Sue said that. Yeah. Allie Kay says, if it's transparent, next time try with the napkin back still on. Yeah. Or I could have painted them too, Allie. Yeah. I agree. Use paint pens. And put some of the lines back in. Hmm. That's an interesting thought. Unless you like seeing sport balls peeking through. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably... I think I got some collage paper. Now, I like this one. You guys can't see it too well. But the, there are no lines showing through that. I like this one. 
So when I got more of the napkin, I think I did two or three layers on that one. And this one's not bad. But some of these with the lines showing through, I do think I have some collage paper that it was put out by that, um, what, Susan Lenart or something like Le Lazar or whoever. She does jewelry. And she does those little bezels and everything. And she has some collage paper out. All right, I need to sign off. You guys all have a really good week next week. And as Roy says, do something to, to make you smile. Do something to make you smile. Bye, everybody. Have a great week. I'll see you Tuesday morning. Bye. And Tammy Ward, thank you for the super chat.